and some other interesting aspects here. I was talking about uh, different platforms that do in development. We have a, what we call a moat, and this has the ability to transmit very high output power up to one watt in, let's say, a 64 channel configuration in lower WAN network, and allows us to uh, test for very long range in applications that re require higher output power at extremely long range, up to 10 miles, let's say. So this is a good example of a package solution for going out and doing testing. What's unique is that once you develop all of this um, prototyping, met all of these prototyping methods, you can actually then take that code, take those examples, uh, customize and uh, sm make your module or your device very small form factor, and then create a finished product. I'll show some examples of finished products here. And this is an example of a mousetrap. So what happens, the mousetrap is basically set and is sitting asleep for a very long period of time, unless you have lots of mice. So when a mouse is caught, it basically the trap is enabled in its class A and it sends an uplink message saying mouse has been caught. And within, let's say, Cayenne or some other dashboards that we have for IoT, um, you'll get a text message, or let's say the restaurant owner will get a text message. And what's interesting about that is it lets them know right when this was activated. And then that's big in the restaurant and food industry because of the fact you do not want rodents in a trap for long periods of time. So this is for mice, and the same company also developed a trap for rats using the same concept. So if you think about it, a perfect application for Class A because the device is it could be for a very long time, just be asleep, and then it wakes up as soon as it catches the rodent and sends a message, an alert to whatever uh, application server, however you want to verify that through a text message, email, or an alert on a dashboard. So this provides a kind of a quick overview of the different development methods for creating a lower WAN sensor, uh, creating a solution for doing range tests and configuration, and then showing a final product. Thanks for watching. For more information on LoRa and LoRaWAN, please visit the Semtech website and join the LoRa community. Thank you.